Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to view slash manage Google saved passwords. On your Google Chrome account, you actually, most of us probably have saved passwords on there, especially if you're logging into an, a website often like Amazon or even Dave's Computer Tips and it saves your credentials. So basically your username, the website and your password. I'm gonna show you where to find that on Google Chrome because I recently lost some passwords or I wanted to know what a password was and this was kind of an easier way to you know, look them up that I've already saved on Chrome and this is how you do it. So first thing you want to do is go to a new tab since we're going to do this. I don't want you to leave my, my screen. So And you want to go up to the right side and hit the three dots right there. And then you go down to settings. So you want to click on that. And then once you're in here, the settings screen, you want to go down to autofill. And under that, it says password. That's where mine is. So you need to click on that. So you're looking for autofill. And then under that, passwords. Click it. Okay, now here's all your passwords saved for these sites. So I have all the websites, the usernames, the password. Now the first thing at the top you'll notice is the search passwords. This is kind of nice. So you can type in like the website, like Amazon.com. And it will narrow down if you have a lot of passwords and usernames saved on your Google account, there's, you can actually narrow that down quickly. Also at the top, it says offer to save passwords. You can turn that on and off. That is when you're typing in your um, login information and then Google asks is, do you want me to save that? You know, that little box that pops up on the right. Um, if you have that on, that's offered. If it's not on, then it won't show up. Um, then you have auto sign in and that's automatically sign in to the website using stored credentials. If disabled, you will be asked to confirm every time you go in. So there's another option right there you can click. Um, right down here is where the main stuff is. The most important stuff to me is the saved passwords. So if you look at it, here's the website, here's the username, and then the passwords and the dots. So you can't read it. And I don't want you seeing it. But I'm also going to cover I'm going to blur out the usernames because that's kind of important too. <laughs> I don't care if you know what website I go to. I don't want you to know what my username is. So if you want to see details of this one here, so you can just click the three dots on the side here. And there is the eye. We'll talk about the eye in a minute. Click on the three dots. Oops. My computer decided to move. Okay. Click on the three dots and then click details. You can remove this totally from your list. So if you wanted to just delete it, you can, but we're going to actually hit details. And then this actually gives you all the information. So it's basically the website, the username, and then the password still cannot see the password. But if you want to see the password, just click the eye icon and then you click on that. And then it's going to ask for windows security credentials. So this is the credentials. So this is what you log in to on your Microsoft Windows PC. So your username and your password for your Microsoft account, put that in there and then hit OK. And that will make the dots turn into the actual password. I'm not doing it right now because I don't want you to see it. So it will turn into the actual password. So that's all you have to do. Once you click the eye icon, you want to key in your Windows credentials, your username and your password, and then that's it. It will show the password. So you can do that on any one of these. So if you've forgotten, like, I can't remember what my password was for this, you can actually see them by doing that. But remember when you do that, that means anybody who's watching with you will actually know your password too. There's also one other thing you can do, which is really cool, is you can actually export this entire list. And the way you do that is the very top, here's saved password, you go all the way across, you're going to see these three dots all by themselves. You're going to click on those. And it says export passwords. You click on that. And then it's going to do this again. Your passwords will be visible to anyone who can see the exported file. So if it's on your computer, yes, it can be unsafe. People can see it. But I want to do it anyway. So I'm going to hit export passwords. And then this is what it's going to do. It's going to ask for my credentials again. I'm actually going to click more choices because I have it saved in here. There it is, and then I'm going to put my password. Yes, you can't see it right now, but I know it. Okay, so once I put my credentials in, I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to do this. And this is the important part because I want you guys to see this. Okay, it's your save window comes up. You can name it anything you want, and it's going to save it as an Excel file comma separated values. So that's what you're going to do. You can save that anywhere on your computer, then you'll have it 
on your system. So that's how to view slash manage your Google saved passwords on your Google Chrome account. And this is kind of nice once in a while if you have to remember a password really quick or you want to see your passwords or what accounts you have saved on your Google account, your Google Chrome. This is really cool to see. Now, if you don't want them on there, turn this feature off. So if you don't want to have your passwords being saved, just turn off this feature. And I would turn off this feature too if you don't want to. So that's how you do it. Make sure to go to davescomputertips.com. That's where all of our articles are. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about it. And thanks for watching.